Well, next week, 12 cyclists will ride 1,200 kilometres from Bright near the Australian Alps to Adelaide to help children and their families deal with the toughest situation anyone can face. So far, Cycle for Sam has raised more than a quarter of a million dollars for palliative care services at the Women's and Children's Hospital. And it all began with the loss of a child from a rare disease five years ago. Sam Roberts was a happy and delightful little toddler, but his parents soon suspected something was wrong with his rate of development. He was a very investigated little boy there for a long time because he had all the doctors baffled, they didn't know what was going on. He was finally diagnosed with the rare and deadly degenerative disease, Neiman Pick disease type C. So rare, there were less than a dozen cases in Australia. His body couldn't process cholesterol and the build-up was damaging his lungs and nervous system. The day after he turned three, he went to the children's hospital with a chest infection. He needed 24-hour care and was given three months to live. Michelle and I made a, a decision that one of us would be in the hospital room at all times, so he'd, so he'd never be alone. But Sam Roberts didn't die in three months. He went on to spend almost another two years in hospital it had become his home and he was never left alone. Constantly cared for around the clock by family and friends. He died just 10 weeks short of his fifth birthday in April 2005. It did come our second home. So uh, yes, we, um, it was his room people referred to as the magic cave. <laughs> we had the, uh, kids paintings, photos, balloons. Um, yeah, it, it was quite a, a special place actually, Sam's room. When Sam died, the loss was immense. To help him cope with the trauma, one of Sam's father's friends gave him a bike and encouraged him to ride with his mates. Out of that came the first cycle for Sam in 2006. It went along the Great Ocean Road from Torquay to Adelaide and raised $140,000. A remarkable result for a small family and friends fundraiser, but that was just the beginning. One, two, three, cycle for Sam! Two years later, a ride from the Flinders Ranges down to the Fleurio Peninsula and back to the Children's Hospital raised a further $75,000. It meant there was now enough money to create the Sam Roberts Room, so a dying child and their family didn't have to feel they were in a hospital. Now we wanted to create a room like Sam's for other families. Um, you know, it's one of the hardest times in your life when you're trying to deal with a child who's Um, then that's a wonderful thing to be able to do. Sadly, the Sam Roberts room's been so busy with sick and dying children and their families, we couldn't film inside it. And so we can only show you photos. To have a space that allows them that privacy, to not have to go and have a coffee with a family whose child's going to be better in 24 hours, is, I think, very important for families. To have somewhere to, to cry, somewhere to relax, um, a double bed to lie on with their child not be draped over a hospital bed rail is, um, I think when time's precious, all those things matter. Sarah Fleming is a paediatric palliative care nurse and she says a room like this would not have been budgeted and would not have happened without the Cycle for Sam fundraising. Fundraising the family's determined to keep going. It was really important for us to continue Sam's memory, keep, his, keep him alive with us. Um, keep his love with us um, and it's also a really positive way for our um, other children for Lucy and Charlie to remember their brother and keep his memory alive with them as well. While Sam was in hospital the Roberts family saw the immense benefit of art. It helped their children cope and so now they use their foundation to fund an art therapist at the hospital. Glenda Needs now works 18 hours a week helping children and their families. And these children have limited vocabulary to describe the experiences that they're going through and it's so important to give them some other medium through which to express that. My aim would be to give the men the opportunity to share with one another and to talk about their experiences of having a child with a life-limiting illness. 
The money raised from the latest ride will help fund a special art project for fathers to help them deal with their loss. Men tend to stay much more isolated and don't grieve in the same way as women and children, for instance, but services aren't largely targeted towards men. Next week's 1,200 kilometre ride from Bright near the Australian Alps to Adelaide is set to raise another $60,000 and more rides are planned in the years to come. Our kids just absolutely love it and uh, our kids in particular want us to keep going with it and that's wonderful that they're keen for these rides to continue because it's keeping Sam's memory alive as well with them. Mm -hmm.